Seahawks, Steelers. Coming up on EA Sports, we welcome you to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for today's game. AFC versus NFC as kickoff fast approaches, Phil. Well, we have two teams that don't know each other very well. And when you don't know each other very well, you play cautious. And when you play cautious, you don't play as well as you should. So it should be a high-scoring game. This game is underway. He'll have a chance to take off. And he's taken down right at about the 20. Not quite to the 30. Roethlisberger's alone in the backfield. Now he's going to change the play. And look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. Looking to go down the field here. Intercepted. I know this never happened in your decorated career, but an early interception, how will he rebound, the quarterback? You know, I'll just say this, you're a funny guy. That's funny. <laughs> I'd look, hey, I did it all the time, and I used to tell my offensive lineman, be ready, I'm probably going to throw some more, so make the tackle. Loss of two on that play. Lynch is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Going for the home run. Richardson's got the catch on the touch throw. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. First down at the 49. They're going to get him here for a sack. The Seahawks offensive line could be in for a long day based on that one. Yeah, bad job that time. They give up the sack. But look, when you talk about this offensive line, they're pretty good. And the quarterback is taken down. That's an awesome job by the outside linebacker. He gets a sack on the quarterback. And nowadays, you've got to do it all if you're an outside linebacker. You've got to be tough against the run, cover receivers down the field. And yes, plays like that get to the quarterback. Lockett with the grab. And he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. The Seahawks on their offensive play sheet, they don't have many plays for third and long situations, but that is a really nice job that time by the offense, the quarterback. They pick up the first down. That'll get you going. They come to the line at the 31-yard line. Here's the first snap after the big play. the Seahawks in the full house set now at the line one two three with the sack well I know this feeling when a blitzer's coming nobody's there to block him there's nothing you can do as a quarterback but try to protect yourself because you're going down <laughs> quarterback likes what he sees out there outside he's changing the play with the wide receiver Mitchell's there to take him down Seahawks take it from the 23 and they dump the quarterback when you put on third down you hope to get to the quarterback here's why because there are less defensive backs back there the chances of giving up the big play are pretty high but the rush they're quick enough they get there and they sack the QB the field goal attempt is good it's good that field goal gives them a leg up here midway through the first quarter. Makes you feel really good about what you did during the week here. Anytime you can get points on the board early in a football game, it makes you think all that practice was worth it. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. 
the Steelers offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake the last time they had the ball the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them yeah it did Jim but you know what it's not a perfect game you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football so you made that mistake let it go and go out there be aggressive and see if you can score some points Running room. Midway through the first quarter, and it's always a time where you're punching and counter-punching. And now they've got the pick and a chance to even score again. Now, what would you know about punching and counter-punching, Jim? Were you a boxer at one time? It's amazing. You've done every sport, but you're bad. He's in for the touchdown. If the defense is not going to play for the quarterback sneak, then make them pay for it. Take advantage of it. That's what the offense did. The quarterback took advantage. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. Makes the PAT. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. And he'll start his return. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. The Steelers just gave up some big turnover points. And let's see if they can hold on to football this time, Phil, because we know how crucial it is. We talked to the coaches about it this week. This was their concern with this team. Well, if you want to stay on the field, you better quit turning it over, right, Jim? That's what they, the coaches, look, you you make mistakes on the field, they're going to get, they're going to be forgiving to it. And he's in for the touchdown. What a play. What a run. Well, we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. Look out. They're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. The Steelers will line up here for the onside kick. attempt the Seahawks will be trying to make it three successful drives in a row as they retake the field here on offense Parker they got a great feeling from the offense so far in other words they're confident they feel good so you need to keep calling plays they keep the, the offensive players in a positive frame of mind you do that hey I wouldn't be surprised to see him march down here and score again looking long We'll be keeping an eye on Jimmy Graham, Phil. A lot of people surprised to see the Saints trade him to Seattle in the offseason. Yeah, it was all about the money. I mean, I know the New Orleans Saints, they knew he was a great player, but it's about money and saving cap space down there in New Orleans. And Seattle was all too happy to get him on their side. The Seahawks take it from the 33. He's churning ahead, and he's taken down. Outside linebackers who can get to the quarterback, they are a rare breed in the NFL because it takes talent, size, speed, everything to do it as a linebacker, and we saw it that time on display. The Seahawks will take the snap from the 40. Makes the play one-handed. Well, if I was the quarterback, I would throw it to this guy every single time. When you make a catch like that, as a quarterback, you must have great confidence in him. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Wilson's now going to leave the pocket and touchdown. Seattle Seahawks. Wilson's second touchdown of the game. What a wonderful job by the quarterback scoring on that long run, running the football and the defense. This is why you got to keep your eyes on the quarterback. If he decides to scramble, then you can go get him. Nobody's looking. The quarterback, nice run, and gets the score. Got a flag.
quarterback. He's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. Here's the long throw by Roethlisberger. And intercepted. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. The Seahawks' offense came out punching. Will this defense ever counterpunch, Phil? I think it's about time the defense tries something differently, Jim. Hey, look, this offense is good. They're playing well, but they're not great, and they're not unstoppable. So change what you're doing on the defensive side and turn this tie. Good coverage by Kay that time as the pass goes incomplete. Here's a look at the defense with its ball-hawking secondary. And a real tough spot here on second down. Wilson set in the pistol. Second and ten. Another takeaway. Anytime you're backed up on the offensive side, the quarterback's got to be extremely careful because if you turn it over, you're just giving points to your opponent. That time, a bad decision by the quarterback, and he throws an easy interception for the defense. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Roethlisberger takes the snap from the gun. Pass is intercepted. Tackles made. You got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time the defense did. Even though the offense was going in to score, they finally they come up with a big play and they get the interception inside their own 20-yard line. Playing press coverage to the outside. And Richardson's a wide out, but in the backfield on this play. The Steelers sat at the line. Dime package. Now first and ten. Richardson's met after a gain of eight. Jim, look at that. The defensive line all shifting down inside. They're expecting a run right up the middle. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. Defense is crowded the line of scrimmage. They're trying to confuse the quarterback. First down and ten. They're going to stay on the ground. Allen's going to make the tackle. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. And Richardson's going to take the handoff now. Richardson's marked down at the 34. The Seahawks offense is still out there as we get the second quarter underway. At the 34, 66 yards from pay dirt. The Seahawks are at the line of scrimmage with their backfield loaded up. And the second quarter, and he's forced to the ground. So many ways to overcome your quarterback getting hit the sack. Throw the football quicker, keep the tight end and running backs in. If you do that, he'll have time to throw it down the field. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. The Seahawks from the 27. Another interception. That brings the play to an end. Good job that time by the defense. Not being full, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. What a place to start for the offense. Roethlisberger's ready for the snap. Empty backfield. The Steelers from the 37. Up in the air and comes down with the catch. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today, but don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. Tight ends in motion here. First down at the 17. Roethlisberger sends it to Bell. 
Jim, the defense gives up the first down that time inside the red zone. But there's only so many things the offense can do. Let's see if they can hold it. First and goal from the six. It's intercepted. Going to take it the distance. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, and in for the touchdown. You gotta love a defense that's not afraid to take chances, and this defense will get after it. That time they get the interception and return it all the way for a touchdown. The Steelers set to return the kick. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Steelers retaking the field with their offense in a game that hasn't been very pretty here of late. Turnovers by both teams on the last two possessions. Well, define the word pretty. I think if you ask the defensive teams, hey, they love this game. It's beautiful. So, so far, the takeaways by the defense, that's the story. The Steelers take it from the 23. The Ockrill brings down the quarterback. Hard to get these hits against quarterbacks now, these blindside hits, because everybody's worried about getting hit as a quarterback, the protections, all the smart things they do, getting rid of the football fast, but they couldn't stop at that time. Big hit. Roethlisberger's all by himself in the backfield for this snap. Out of the shotgun. Looking to go deep. Kerry Williams has the pick. They are completely out of sorts offensively. And now they add to the damage with the interception, Phil. Yeah, when you get in situations like this, go back to the really simple things. Don't take a chance. Execute what you know you can do. If you do that, that'll give you some confidence, and then you'll start playing a lot better. Underneath and incomplete that time. Second down coming up. The Seahawks load up the backfield for this next play. And Marshawn Lynch with the grab. Timmons is able to read that play and make the hit. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Third down and 13. Complete the defense does his job forcing fourth down in a hurry. John Ryan will be called on to send this one down the field. Thomas is going to take this one from the 14. Thomas is brought down after picking up 11 on this play and a run back of about 11. The Steelers' offense rebound after throwing an interception the last time they were on the field. Now, that interception we saw in the last drive, it's, let's be honest, it was awful. I mean, it was just a bad decision, bad throw, and it, it was such a bad throw, I'm surprised the defensive player caught it. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Roethlisberger from the gun. Intercepted. They are completely out of sorts offensively. And now they add to the damage with the interception, Phil. Yeah, when you get in situations like this, go back to the really simple things. Don't take a chance. Execute what you know you can do. If you do that, that'll give you some confidence, and then you'll start playing a lot better. The hit knocks the ball out incomplete. You might as well catch it, because you're going to take the big hit no matter what. That time... The receiver lets the ball go because he was worried about the defender making the hit. Second down and 10. Wilson off the mark that time. I'll say this. If you're in a situation like this, third and long, when you're winning here, if you throw the football, fire the coach. And I'm just saying that because I don't think there's any chance they're going to throw the football in this situation. They're changing things here. The quarterback changing... He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. 
Wilson's unable to connect that time. The Seahawks put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage. They know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long, and they were ready for it. The Seahawks will risk it here, going for it on fourth down. Wilson comes out in the pistol. Running back in motion here. Down the field. The Seahawks turn the ball over on downs. The Seahawks that time go for it on fourth down, and they fail. I did not understand the decision, but you got to make sure your team doesn't get down from that. you got to keep them up. Coming to the line of scrimmage right at midfield. Roethlisberger's got it in the gun. Going for the deep ball. What a catch down the middle of the field. Good job by the defensive line shifting all down inside. I think they're expecting a run up the middle. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. Stepping up to the line at the six-yard line. Ben Roethlisberger will take the snap out of the gun. doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals touchdown and that'll close the gap in this one what a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown it was just really nice he threw it beautifully right on target touchdown two-point conversion good stand by the defense the Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick he'll take it from the four keeps his legs moving the Seahawks offense getting ready to start this drive I'm sure they're having a hard time letting go of what happened last time when they had the football across midfield and field goal range and failed to come away with any points. Look, I like the fact that they went forward on fourth down. What I disagreed with was the play call. It was too, uh, it didn't give the quarterback enough options, and that's why it failed. But you still agree that they should have gone for it? Absolutely. Press coverage all the way. Wilson's setting up now in the pistol. The Seahawks snap it up at the 26. Snatches it with one hand. Phil, that's one of the best one-handed catches we've seen all year, isn't it? Jim, that's one of the best. You don't see many this outstanding in these wide receivers. If they can't get two hands on the football, they've taught themselves over time just to go up and stretch as far as they can and get that one hand on it. And it is amazing how many times they make the catch. Wilson's completion percentage, 40% on the day. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. And Richardson's a wide receiver moved into the backfield for this play. The Seahawks will line up in a full house set. Richardson's going to secure the handoff. And Richardson's marked down at the 34. Look out. The defense is showing a blitz here. They're going to the hurry. Back to the line now. Now he's going to change the play. And look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. It's Jermaine Curse coming down with it. Hey. 
That long gain sets them up here on this play. Richardson's got it on the handle. And that'll be a gain of about two. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. When you get third goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. Looks like they're in press coverage here. Loss of three on the play. Wasting little time. Catch made by Graham. Allen's there to make the tackle. Take the points. That's what I'm telling you. Now, see, you're trying to shoot with the route swapping shit, you little faggot ass motherfucker. coming back onto the field it was a good drive for them the last time they had it all the way down to the end zone for the touchdown yeah you know in this game Jim it's all about momentum and when you feel you got the momentum on your side you got to take advantage of it so now I think it's up to the offensive coordinator to call the right play Brown's got it first down timeouts called and we're gonna step aside and be back in just a moment Roethlisberger's got no one behind him. Just a quarterback waiting for the snap. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. Stands in the pocket. Intercepted. He's brought down. We've reached halftime, and we'll be sending it back to our studio and Larry Ridley as we continue with the NFL on EA Sports. The second half of this lopsided affair is underway. Allen's the one who brings him to the ground, and a run back of about five. The Seahawks take the field here in the second half, looking to extend their lead in this one, partner. Yeah, you know what you do? It's halftime is over. You come out here. You're not sure what the new game plan is going to be, but feel your way into the game. Don't take a chance early and turn the football over. That's reception number four for him. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Makes the grab. Touchdown. And they've established a nice lead here just moments into the second half. Wow, what a that was, well, good job by the offense finding a way to score, but what a terrible job by the defense. No life, no execution, and now you just face a bigger deficit. Driving extra point is good. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. No return here as he makes the fair catch. The Steelers offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. You got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go. Go out there. Be aggressive and see if you can score some points. Now the offense in their hurry up. The D-lines, they're seeing something on the offensive side. Everybody's shifting to their left. The Steelers call timeout, and they'll have two remaining. 
Coming up, second down. Quarters formation here for the defense. They motion the receiver around to the other side. Roethlisberger is going to take the snap from the shotgun. Roethlisberger's pass will go for an incompletion this time. In a situation like this, third and long, if you're the defense, catch them by surprise and blitz. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Going deep. Able to get a step on the defender, and he makes the catch. Brown taken down. Still the prettiest play in the NFL. The long, arching pass down the field and watching a speedy receiver run right under it. What a throw, what a catch. Getting set as fast as they can. Ben Roethlisberger dropping back in shotgun formation. Had it for a moment, but then lost it on the hit. Bell really hit hard that time. And I know the football hit his hands, but when a defender times it perfectly like that, with that much power and speed going into that receiver, you are going to let that football go. That's human nature. Really good job by the defensive player. In his hands, complete touchdown. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. Let's go. Let's go, and there's a drop. Could have taken the one-point gimme. They went for the two, and they are turned away. The Steelers in position. They're going to go with the onside kick. And unable to pull off the onside kick, the hands team comes away with the football. The Seahawks have done a whale of a job taking their halftime lead and adding a whole lot more to it here in the third quarter. And yeah, they're just doing everything we saw them do in the first half, just dominating the pace of play and just being more physical than the defense. Wilson's going to be in the pistol here. First down at the 45. It's complete to Paul Richardson. Good yardage picked up on that call. We'll go no huddle. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. And this is dropped. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good. The football ball is incomplete. This next play comes from the 30. The Seahawks come to the line of scrimmage and show a full house. Second and 10. Launching it deep, but it's incomplete. Third long coming up. You're losing by a couple scores on the defensive side. You must know the offense is not going to take a chance. So be aggressive and maybe get lucky and get a turnover. The quarterback. He's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. And it's caught. Going to take it home for the touchdown. They're not that far from closing this game out after that touchdown here mid-third quarter. Yeah, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's a dominant performance so far. That, that drive just set it off. They wanted to take it down the field, execute the plays. They did it, and the defense just let them have their way. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. First down at the 20. Roethlisberger was targeting Antonio Brown with that pass. Sometimes when you have a player with this kind of talent, you're willing to put up with a few drop passes because when he catches it, he has a chance of going all the way.
Roethlisberger takes the snap from the gun. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. Well, the quarterback showed off his arm strength that time, didn't he? He put the football right on the money, on a line, right into the receiver's hands. Third down on the way. Roethlisberger's alone in the backfield. Oh, you see the linebackers moving around. I think they're trying to confuse the offensive line. And that incompletion is going to bring us to a very quick fourth down. The Steelers elect to go for it and bypass the punt on fourth down. The Steelers get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. Halfway through the third quarter, Roethlisberger gets it to his tight end, Heath Miller. I uh, can't give all the credit to the offense here. They go for it on fourth down here in the second half, even though they're losing the defense should have known that that play was coming and they should have stopped. First down at the 37. Interception. On his way. The 10 in stride and he's home for the touchdown. You talking about getting your team full of emotion and getting everything on your side. How about that interception by the defense and then taking it back all the way for the score. The Steelers set to return the kick. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Steelers are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense can get that back, Phil. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coaches took them to the sideline and just gave them heck. That's for sure. That's a good way of seeing it. So motivation, can't make those kind of mistakes. You've got to go out there and be much better. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. First down at the 19. Jumps into the air and pulls it down. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. Roethlisberger's back in shotgun formation. And intercepted! Richard Sherman is aggressive. It makes him the perfect corner for the Seattle Seahawks. What a good play. What a good pick. The Seahawks have extended their halftime lead, and they haven't wasted any time in doing so as they continue to motor up and down the field. You know, this is what you got to do in this league now. When you got it, when it's going well on the offensive side, don't slow down, don't get conservative, keep it going, try to score points, and just dominate the other team. Unable to bring it in. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. And now they'll try over again on second down. And Richardson's now moved into the backfield from his usual wideout spot. Alvin Bud Dupree gets to the quarterback. Nice job that time, but the outside linebacker getting the sack. They ask a lot of these guys now. They are special players in the NFL. Stopping the run and the speed to get outside and get the sacks on the quarterback, too. He's picked off again. Tackles made. A good play at last by the defense, but they needed to be making those plays earlier before the game got away from them. Yeah, they sure did, but listen, they finally made a play. Now it's up to the quarterback. Come out on the field, and let's see you make a play and get this team back in the game. Jim, when you get inside the other team's red zone, inside the 20-yard line, and you're down some points, you're thinking touchdown in these situations. First down at the 17. Touchdown, Pittsburgh Steelers. 
Another touchdown throw by the quarterback. If you do not pressure this guy, he is going to get it done. No pressure on him. And just another excellent throw for a touchdown. And the extra point is good. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Catches it at the two and starts his return. That return's good for about 26. The Seahawks could have asked for this third quarter to have gone any better for them than it has so far as they've just continued to do what they were doing in the first half, up and down the field. Oh, man, they kept the pedal to the metal, man. They are letting it go. They're being aggressive, and they're trying to end this game right here. Second down here. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. Outside linebackers in the NFL, they are such tremendous athletes. They can do everything. How about that play that time? Good move, good speed. Gets to the quarterback and gets a sack. Can't find a mark, and this is going to bring up fourth down. Short series this time for the offense. And it'll be Ryan back to punt. He wants to return this one. And they bring it down at the 36-yard line. And a run back of about eight. The Steelers' offense taking the field again. They got everything they could out of that last possession, Phil. A solid touchdown drive. Yeah, what a productive day so far for the offense. They're mixing it up well. They got confidence. The quarterback's throwing it well. This is a, a very good game so far. Down the field. Another takeaway. First down here. Playing press coverage to the outside. The Seahawks in the full house. Set now at the line. Quarterback sees something in his defense. He wants to take advantage of. And Marshawn Lynch with the grab. Lynch is met at the 37. That little throw was good for only three. So it's now second down and seven. Look at the defensive line. Everybody's spreading out. I think they're going to try to pressure the quarterback. It's Jermaine Kirst. A foot race to the end zone. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. If I was a quarterback, I would be looking at this receiver, too. He has been getting open all day long. And how about that? Another touchdown catch. What a terrific day. You're the one that's flipping plays and glitching, you little faggot-ass motherfucker. Steven Learn how to play like a real man, pussy. Shut the fuck up, nigga. You whack, dog. Flipping plays, you little faggot ass motherfucker. You're a pussy. You're a pussy. You're a pussy. This is a midi. You're a pussy. The Steelers' offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim. But you know what? It's not a perfect game. You got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there. Be aggressive and see if you can score some points. Looking at every option. Ball comes out. This one's going back the other way. Their misery is compounded with the lost fumble here in the third quarter. Yeah, I want to give the team a speech, and here's what I would, I would say to him, Jim. I'm not going to scream as loud as I would if I was there in person. Wake up. Well, are you kidding me? They're sleepwalking out there. Get involved in the game. And it's caught. Taking it all the way home for the touchdown. A little more salt in the wound with that touchdown. And we've still got one more quarter to play. Hey, look, this is professional football. Don't look for them just to slow down because they're nice guys on the other side. They're going to play hard, so you, you better make your mind up. 
to get out there and play hard, or are you just going to continue to get embarrassed? He'll take it from the one. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. The Steelers just gave up some big turnover points. Let's see if they can hold on to the football this time, Phil, because we know how crucial it is. We talked to the coaches about it this week. This was their concern with this team. Well, if you want to stay on the field, you better quit turning it over, right, Jim? That's what they, the coaches, look, you you make mistakes on the field, they're going to get, they're going to be forgiving to a point, but you've got to be smart. You, another interception early in the fourth, and if there was ever a thought of a miracle comeback, that interception pretty much ended it. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure they ever thought this could be a miracle comeback in this game. It's been bad all day long, I feel. You know, I actually feel bad for them throwing that interception because they just can't seem to do anything right on the offensive side. They're changing things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. That was Mitchell on the coverage that time. Got to give the defense a lot of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field. Nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. The Seahawks snap it at the 36. Look up at that scoreboard. You lead the football game, so we have a third and long situation. So you've got to know that. Manage the game. Don't take a chance. Third down and 10. Leaps up and comes away with it. Press coverage all the way. And now they're in the hurry up. The defense gets the sack. A lot of big hits by this quarterback today. He's going to have to start getting rid of the football a little bit quicker. It's important he stays in the game for his football team. He's picked off again. This one is well out of reach, and that's more of a moral victory for this defense than anything else. Well, it's a good moral victory. Anytime you get an interception, make the other team make a mistake. That is good for your defense. And, you know, I don't know. I don't think this game is over. I'm saying to the offense, let's see if you can go out there and score quick, and let's make a game of this. Airing it out. And it's incomplete. He had an open receiver that time and just misfired on the deep throw. Oh, yeah, I think he got too excited. The fact that he saw a receiver down the field wide open, he got excited. That's why he overthrew it just a little bit. Second down and 10. Looking long. And it falls incomplete. Well, sometimes when you have a talented receiver, you just got to put up with plays like that. He might drop a few. But when he does catch it, they can make a big play. The Steelers will take the snap from the 30. Roethlisberger going down the field. Pass is intercepted. This offense had no choice but to take some chances here in the fourth quarter. But it comes.